One in five American adults experiences a mental health issue in a given year, and mental health uh, problems are a growing concern. Mental health doesn't necessarily mean mental illness, as we hear from Dr. Brent Wallace from uh, People's Health about the distinction there. So you believe that mental health is kind of a misunderstood term? Very much so. I think uh, a lot of people misinterpret mental health thinking that it means mental illness, but it's very different. Mental health is actually your emotional, psychological, or even social well-being, whereas mental health encompasses medical disorders such as depression. Mental illness. Mental illness. Uh, problems such as depression or bipolar disorder. All right. So, I'm, and I'm at, obviously there are degrees of mental health. Somebody who is just on top of the world, it seems, somebody who's a, a little low sometimes, and obviously at the other end of the scale, someone with deep problems. It's not, it's not a, an on switch or an off switch? Definitely. Yeah, your mental health will vary just like your physical health can, can vary. And so it's very important to recognize any problems that you may be having. So uh, any sort of uh, you know, decreased physical activity, any feelings of sadness or depression definitely need to be recognized. So, so maybe in terms of, of relating this to most people, you, you, your point here today partly is you can affect and proactively help your mental health in the same way as you can help your physical health within limits, of course. Correct, yeah. Everyone has mental health. Not everyone has a mental illness. But what's important is being able to recognize when your mental health is suffering and then making sure that you seek help for that. All right, so, I mean, is, is, is it just as easy as happiness is a state of mind? Or how do you go about improving? Is there a self-help aspect to this? Definitely. I mean, I think it's very important that, um, that people recognize their mental health. Uh, you know, talking to family and friends, maybe your pastor or a priest, whenever you're feeling sad or down is very important just like if you're having a physical problem going to your physician to talk to them about that you know um, in terms of somebody who's getting older is is um, you, people can get in retirement and you, you can you know lack a sense of purpose maybe that you felt through your whole life how important is you know exercise purpose those sorts of of um, you know mental health exercises if you right know. well there, there's definitely a direct correlation between physical activity and mental health so the more active that a person becomes especially when they're older and maybe retired is very important to their mental health as well and, and not to make a distinction between those who have deep mental problems and, and need help from a physician. Right, and there definitely are some times where mental health can actually lead to mental illness. And at those times, especially if you're feeling extremely sad or depressed, you should definitely speak to a professional about that. All right, so it's not always simple, but it can be something that you can work on. Dr. Brent Wallace, thank you very much. Thank you. For people's help.